Good morning, folks. We're beginning with a compact but moderately forceful eruption on the northeastern limb. The sunspots up there destabilized the local area, snapping magnetic fields, and releasing a CME into space. It will not impact the magnetosphere. Watching in many wavelengths of light allows us to see bright flashes of X-ray emissions, the dense helium splash of material shifted around, and the clearing of the corona by the force of the blast. Before we go any further, folks, SuspiciousObservers.org is up, but our other free resources are not at the moment. We apologize for the inconvenience, but Space Weather News, Quake Watch, and Magnetic Reversal are all getting some kinks worked out, and we appreciate your patience. Anyway, not sure if you can see the data gap there. A fire drill at NOAA somehow allegedly caused the data streams to stop as well. It was during that eruption we just watched. But even without GOES flare readings, we can see that on EVE, it didn't even crack M flare range. It was the northern spots that did it, but my money would have been on the southern ones for activity, and that's still true. Much more magnetic complexity down there far side of the sun remained active as well. A moderate eruption goes off the backside here on stereo A. Solar wind, beginning to show signs of the coming coronal hole stream to Earth. We've expected impact today or tomorrow, and geomagnetic storms should ensue. So perhaps this instability indicates it's about time. And speaking of coronal holes, these dark guys here are the culprits, but also have been playing with the earthquake and volcano watch. For three days, we've watched that red patch, top left, avoid facing Earth, but last night he just couldn't help himself. The power made no advancement, and volcanic eruptions finally gave way to a large earthquake, 7.1 near what probably used to be Atlantis. Because of its location, there should almost never be OLR anomalies there, but indeed, a small one did actually build over three days, nothing we'd have thought to mention, however. Top news today includes new readings from the Pacific, and they show Fukushima cesium in elevated levels, including some of the highest yet. Yet still, they claim there is no danger to the public. Hmm. Also, folks, C.W. Leonis, the infrared star, subject of many conspiracy theories, has pulled a three-decade prank on scientists. Turns out, we've never actually seen it. It's shrouded in its own dust and gases, which could be why it shines so bright in infrared. Website members, today's episode of Fly on the Wall will touch on a number of cool topics as usual, but the important one is we now have observable evidence that the climate chaos is beginning, and the slippery slope just got very steep. Also folks, in case you missed it, the Phoenix Conference will be the last one, probably until at least 2018. So come on out and hear myself, Kong Pop, August Dunning, and more break down the frontier in a way anyone can understand and digest. Plus, I still haven't had the chance to shake many of your hands yet, and that's just a damn shame. Got the top alerts in our top viewer locations, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.